32 Iraqi families lost 32 loved ones last Thursday in the Iraqi capital Baghdad after they woke up in the early morning to the impact of two deadly suicide bombings targeting a popular market in the city center. Tayaran Square, where the twin terrorist attack took place, was seen to scores of dismembered bodies and hundreds of wounded victims. A day later, Daesh claimed responsibility for the attack, saying they were aimed at Iraqi Shia Muslims. I wish someone would tell me how a psychotic Wahhabi Takfiri terrorist was able to tell the difference between a Sunni, a Shia, and a Christian Iraqi in the middle of the capital's open-air market. Hearing the story of how the terrorist attempted to gather as many victims around him as possible made my blood boil. The first suicide bomber blew himself up after pretending to be sick to gather people around him. The cycle fell to the ground and then detonated the vest after people rushed to help him. After they rushed to help him. The second bomber detonated his explosive nearby just minutes later. The attack, which opened the door wide to many questions, came one day after the inauguration of Joe Biden as President of the United States. And immediately, hundreds of warmongering voices began calling for the U.S. occupation forces to remain in Iraq, get this, to repel the attacks of Daesh. So Daesh, which had been eliminated at the hands of the Iraqi Popular Mobilization Forces in most of the areas it occupied, except the areas under U.S. control, only seemed to make a move when U.S. occupation troops attempt to leave the country. And despite the fact that U.S. occupation forces have been roaming freely in Iraq ever since they invaded the country in 2003, they sure seem unable to find Daesh to repel their attacks, which by the way have never once targeted the U.S. bases. However, they can easily spot all popular mobilization forces bases and bomb them unequivocally even when they cross over to Syria to fight off the remnants of Daesh. Meanwhile, in the wake of the terrorist attack, Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al qadami fired several senior national security officials of the country. These changes dominated the scene in Baghdad only a few hours before Daesh claimed responsibility of the attack, in a clear indication that al qadami is determined to restrict the security and military decisions to his own hands. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.